Hey guys, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian. Thanks for watching the channel. I appreciate it. Today we have a video where I'm going to talk about brachycephalic syndrome. And brachycephalic syndrome, guys, can affect any pushed in nose dog. That includes like Frenchies, uh, Boston Terriers, uh, your English Bulldog, any kind of Bulldog. And the thing I want you to think about it, keep it simple. It means the nose is really tight. The soft palate's usually really long, and the the trachea, guys, is usually really stenotic or narrow. So out of those things, you know, we can't really fix, guys, the, the trachea. We're kind of stuck with that. But you know what we can do? We can definitely fix the nose and the soft palate because if you change the airway for the nose, the dogs naturally, they naturally want to breathe through their nose. If you can open that nose up a little bit, you have exponentially better airflow through the nose. So what a veterinarian can do, they can do a narrow surgery, and you'll see it here. What they're gonna do is gonna trim away some of the, the nostril and then some of the nasal turbinates, and that's gonna open it up beautifully so they can breathe so well. I mean, any human that's had breathing issues through their nose knows when you open it up, it just helps so, so, so much. Other thing, guys, is the soft palate. What we're gonna do, guys, with the soft palate is we're gonna trim the soft palate off. That way, the soft palate isn't hanging into the throat, into the trachea, and uh, that epiglottis isn't affected. And if you have an open airway like that, you um, just breathe so much better. The soft palate gets in the way and it causes breathing issues. So again, once we turn the soft palate off, guys, the dog can breathe so, so, so much better. And that procedure is what we're seeing here. That's the soft palate sitting there. And now the doggy has an open nose and open throat and we can breathe so much better. And you know what, guys? I get really nervous about like things like non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema and hot and humid areas. And if these, if these airways are more open, we have a much better chance of having a safe, healthy dog longer in life. All right, guys. As always, my name is Dan, a veterinarian. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys take care. Bye. And Hattie's still asleep, too. We're doing good. Come on, Bluey. Yeah. Let's do it. Can show you what happened? Yeah.